we are discussing Oregon beating Wisconsin. They did it. Behind the cheddar curtain. It's never Sixteen thirteen. No, it isn't. Like I mean, it kind of is sometimes. It is but, for a lot of teams, but we knew if, if, if you hold on, Sue's is mic, his mic isn't his mic yeah, isn't working. It's on, but it's not working. It's on, but it's not working. What uh, we got there? Hmm. Wait, try again, Sue. Say hello. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, there, there you are. I don't know right. what happened there. It looked like it maybe got disconnected or something. Oh, oh I'm back in. Here we are. Hey. Uh, no, we talked about going into Wisconsin. An Odyssey station. There was nothing about Wisconsin on the field that scared you at all. No. But if if you were looking at a game that could trip you up, you know, Wisconsin at least has a, a talent level, uh, tough and tough environment, eight straight conference game, couple long road trips. You know, it's it's hard as someone said on the the text line. It's hard to bring your A game. You know, for an entire year. That was one when when you found yourself in the middle of a dogfight. I don't think anyone was surprised. I think, you know, there was an idea of like, ah, it's Wisconsin, you're favored by two touchdowns. But you would have found, if you would have found that against Illinois, if you would have found that against Maryland or someone like that where it's into the fourth quarter and you're like, dude, this is nip and tuck, I think those are the ones you'd be like, what? But Wisconsin is a solid program that just hasn't had a very good year and has struggled, but... I don't know. I, I don't I think it's the, any. It's no. It's, it's no indictment to be in a, no. in a game in the fourth quarter against Wisconsin. As a matter of fact, I think it's an actual. Uh, it's it's a feather in your cap to win a game like that because you did not play your best. It's like this. This uh, texture said you don't always bring your A game. And I think it tells and you when you about win. Your teams. When you win, when you're with your C game, that yeah. you're going to have to do that. Yeah. And that's the difference between winning and losing. Yeah. Is absolutely. winning with your C game. You're just going to. I mean, if you're going to finish off a special season, you're going to have games like that. Mm-hmm. So I, I just don't think that should be an indictment on Oregon. Of course, they're going to have to play better. But they, you know, Lanning mentioned luck. He said, you know, you're going to need some luck mm-hmm. in order to win a championship. That's what I learned at Georgia when yeah. we finally got over the hump. Well, one of those came in that game. And, and, you know, I mean, you could argue what is and what isn't luck. The fourth and nine conversion yeah. almost being tipped. Yeah. I don't know if you call that lucky or if that's just execute. I don't know. It's just it's good execution, and and you know a lot of times you're an inch away from making or not making a play, and that's not luck. You just executed a, a ballsy play, and the Wisconsin kid just came up. Literally, uh, if he's got longer fingers, well, then that's a yeah. great play. Okay, so the one thing that where I think they just got flat out lucky, and they got a call that yeah. went their way, and, it was and a that bad was call. that was when it was thirteen to thirteen. Yeah. Um, for somehow Wisconsin third and eight, they're they're in their own territory. They were at their own twenty two, but yeah. somehow they actually completed a pass. <laughs> so we're, everyone at the time, and we I were got, all stunned. I was like, "Huh, what?" Yeah, uh, all the way out to the thirty four, yeah. first down, yeah. but called back due to the double chop block. Yeah, which wasn't, and that was total luck because that was a terrible call. So if you don't know what a chop block is, you are not allowed to cut a player while he's engaged with another player. So you can cut a defensive lineman, you can cut a linebacker, uh, and that's it, 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 sometimes it happens between two linemen. Most of the time it's a back. Um, so it, it, the, the lineman was engaged, I forget who it was with, Harmon or whoever, and the back came in to help, and he hit him right in the waist. That's not a chop block. It was a terrible call. It, it was a really and then they bad also call. called it on the lineman, too. Yeah. Yeah. And that guy, that wasn't, that was even worse. Yeah, it's a bad call. But it didn't matter because they called it on the back. And to be yeah. fair, I thought that game was riddled with terrible calls. Both teams got hit with a like defensive false start, abrupt yeah. movement call that I thought was yeah, really and I love weird. That even the announcer was like, dude, that's not a And, bo- and it happened to both teams. At least it's consistent. And you're right. Like, Calls and the defensive holding when Harmon was getting double teamed, I thought was weird too. Yeah, that, that was. I mean, there there were a bunch. Yeah, but was, key plays in the game. Yeah. That was a yep. key call. Absolutely. It was huge, and it was the same thing with the Ohio State call with uh, with Smith pushing off, which again was a pass interference. Didn't love it. I don't like those uh, ticky tack calls at the end of games, but you've gotten the benefit of a couple <clears throat> calls, and and that is like you said that that's probably where the luck factor comes in. And those are the sorts of things that can lead to magical seasons. I would say this about Wisconsin. I thought their lines were were better than uh, than than we gave them credit for. Yeah, you know, we kind of lumped this Wisconsin team in with like the Maryland and Illinois yeah. and Michigan and um, didn't look that way early. But Michigan they, they, State, they got it rolling. Dude, their defense was pretty good. Yeah. Like that, that is as good a, of a defensive effort as anybody's had against Oregon yeah. since. Yeah, I mean, period. Since probably. Early in the season, yeah, I don't I mean, even think Ohio State. No, no, that was by far the best. Him, that was by far the best defensive they effort warmed, that, that someone has has put out there. They warmed Gabriel up. Yeah, he. They were hurrying him up, yeah. and they were th- those were tight windows, yeah. and they were 
I mean, I don't know. And that's and that's why I felt bad for Wisconsin when when you're playing your ass off on one side of the ball and the other side just can do nothing. Well, they're used to it. You're just exactly. You're like, oh my god. And this is the beauty part of Oregon is that when the offense struggles and it doesn't happen very often, you now have an elite defense that picks you up, and that's I. I, you know, I, I hate hyperbole of best of all time. And, you know, Oregon's had good defensive units before. This this is a really, you know, regardless of what the way this season ends up, this will this is one of the best defensive units that Oregon has put out there. There's playmakers at all three levels, and they're getting better. And as a defensive line, yes, there may be no Haloti Nadi in here, and there's no... Uh, well, they didn't have Birch. No DeForest Buckner. Yeah, there's no Birch. But this defensive line across the board and the depth on it, I think it's the best defensive line and depth, total D-line, since I've been covering them almost 20 years. They may not have the one star. And by the way, that kid may be emerging there on the outside because he is the sophomore, and you got the better of the uh, the Ui Ungagales because th- that kid is playmaker is, is something and special. And he's a true sophomore, yes. so he cannot go to the NFL. No. He has to come back another year. And and I just and and Harmon has been and, and Caldwell and I know the transfer portal, but again, it's just Oregon has done a better job seemingly in the transfer portal. <clears throat> Every kid they bring in, I feel like comes in and, and there's no there's just there's no like adjustment period. They just come in and they play and they play well. Immediately, I guess Birch took a little while to get going. Yeah, but Evan he, Stewart he maybe a little bit too. Yeah, but they're good coaches. Yeah, and I think that's where coaching comes in. You, know, you get guys on the same page. Yeah. I Coach think this offense up. misses Tess Johnson. Oh, very much. Sure. It's like, it, yeah. and I'm not. It's it's rare that like the yeah, receiver is a straw that stirs the drink, but like I think getting him back, they've looked a little bit disjointed the last couple weeks, and, and right. I think that'll be helpful. We'll get more on uh, on Oregon coming up, including Doctor Onions, Dan Lanning doing it again. <laughs> Doctor Onions, there's a nickname. <laughs> what? I've never heard that. I kind of enjoy it, though. Do you know what that means? No. It's like Big Ball's chip, right? Yeah, Dr. Like onions? Dr. Onions. Oh, like Dr. Onions, onions for ball. Oh, okay. Let's oh, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let him drop. <laughs> Football. Damn near worked. Uh, so we'll get to that. And then we've got our stock watch coming up on the fan. 